Hi guys, RJ here, and I'm kind of going to say sorry to start with, just to say, because the kind of like last episode, the first episode of this series kind of ended a bit abruptly, mainly because I don't know when the video was going to end, and I was just like, oh god, and like, <laughs> it sort of ended abruptly, but um, yeah, it's because I didn't time anything, but yeah. So anyway, this video started now, and it's a new video, and obviously as you can see, there's quite a new fa lot of new faces in my team, so basically this is the team, my first team I've set out. And I put the subs in order players I like, and then it goes down to basically players that I don't like or not as good. And then Morgan, who's obviously out for bloody seven months. So, yeah, the team's pretty good. I'm so far. I'm really, I think I've put together quite a decent amount of team, like decent team, and everything ready for the first game, which is obviously Hereford at home. It's obviously a good way to start the season at home. So, yeah, it was pretty much a boring game. Nil nil. Nil nil. Nothing happened at all. There weren't any highlights I could really show or anything like that. So I just pretty much showed you the score then, that's the reason why. But I got Barnet in a League Cup game. I was actually wanting a cup run just mainly because I could rest my players and try my new players out and like kind of work out which is the best team and everything. So if I could even get a few games in the cup then that's really what I wanted to do. Um but actually I had quite a few turns in this game and it, actually developed a lot different to what I imagined it was going to turn out like. So obviously, as you can see here in the 18th minute, I'll make an absolutely ridiculous tackle and give away a penalty. I'm thinking, oh god, here we go, 1-0 down. Already, what? BAM! Save, save and a half. But look, it wasn't only my keeper who was making some decent saves. And in the penalty shootout, which it actually went to being 0-0, their keeper pulled off some really quality scales and he ended up being, could I save this penalty, could I not? And you know what, I couldn't save it. So basically, that was the little cup run that we had ended. I think this is the Johnson's Pike Trophy, or I imagine it is. Um, and yeah, that pretty much ended without even starting, which is brilliant, but I guess at least it ended the league game. But I was, I was certain that I was going to come back against Crawley and get a win out of this. And 14 minutes in, their keeper makes a stupid move to pass it out, and Bradshaw finishes. And um, yeah, it was actually quite surprising that come out. I don't know why the computer decided to do that. I mean, it is on world class, not like it's on complete easy, but yeah. But the game had a lot of turns and twists in it, and there was a lot of chances. And I managed to took another one away in the 52nd minute, and it ends up 2 1. I can't, I didn't actually imagine or remember that they scored, but it happened. and Here's another result, 1-1. One, one. And I actually win another game against Ginningham, 2-0. I know I haven't showed too many highlights against this, but that was mainly just because oh, it weren't two interesting games. It was just like, oh, one's gone in, one's gone in. Or, like, you know what I mean? So it's just not really end-to-end -end stuff like some of the other games. I'm going to put a bit more game stuff in. But the main reason why this episode is, and the, the significance of this episode, is the transfer deadline day. And I think this is a really good feature that I've put in career mode, like how it's all planned out and now everything. So as you can see on the screen now, transfer deadline day, I think it's just really quality how that happens and everything. And the way you've got like 10 hours left to purchase everyone and everyone's like trying to buy people and sell people and there's players going to this club, players going to that club, I think it's really good. But yeah, as you can see here, I, I bid for a centre back called Win. managed to put in an offer of 3,700 yeah, 375,000 even, but that's his stats, quality is so quick, 95 sprint seed for a defender, what more could you ask for? But yeah, so to get win, I had to sell some players, so as you can see the two players you saw on my team which have departed, um, they've gone, that's a couple of more players which have departed the club or joined the club if you missed the previous episode or if you'd missed who was coming and who was going, but yeah. So I pretty much submitted my offer for winning and I was coming a bit close to if I could sign him or not. It was running down, running down time, but finally with only two hours left we do pick up win. And I think he's gonna be really key for our club, a really key signing. I'm gonna really enjoy playing with him and like really enjoy having him in the team. So I think I'm gonna cut this video to an end here before it gets to the point where I can't say bye or anything. So I really appreciate watching and please keep up with the series. Peace.